What's up guys, Nick Jones here for RunTheScores.com. This is your Run the Scores daily update for January 2nd, 2011, uh, or 2012. Why can I get that right? 2012, 2012, 2012. <clears throat> anyway guys, in the comments below, are you guys having issues remembering the year? I always have issues for about a month or two after the year changes. So just a couple quick stories for you guys. If you head over to RunTheScores.com, we had breaking news earlier today. Uh, Ronald Steele's little brother, Andrew Steele, you may re remember him from last year and a couple of years ago from playing basketball at Alabama. He had some pretty big shots in his time uh, with the Crimson Tide. And earlier this year, um, it was actually published by AL.com that he would no longer be playing basketball for Alabama because he had had, um, he suffered a concussion in the SEC championship and he was no longer able to play in the NIT um, in Alabama's NIT run, so everybody thought, you know, what's the matter with him? He, he ended up having a concussion. It was his third or fourth. I can't remember. Anyway, after like three concussions, it gets really dangerous, and you could suffer a lot of brain damage, but he has been cleared by the medical officials at Alabama to play basketball once again, so he'll be rejoining uh, Alabama's basketball team, which is big news because Alabama always struggles with depth, especially at the guard positions, so uh, that'll be an interesting story to track and make sure to stay tuned to runthescores.com um, for that news as well. And then also, um, another big story for today is, well, it's not really a big story, but it is for us, is tomorrow we will be starting off our series on the All-Decade team. So I'm going to name five offensive and five defensive players. I had to think about that, but Five offensive and five defensive players. It's, it's the top ten players of the last ten years for Alabama's football teams. And tomorrow on Tuesday, we're going to start that. Um, we're going to start that series, and I'll detail a little bit about uh, about it on the Run the Scores Daily Update um, tomorrow. Uh, I guess one more thing, I'm going to be watching the Rose Bowl tonight. Make sure to stay tuned to RunTheScores.com for um, updates on the BCS National Championship situation. Uh, tomorrow we're also going to have um, notes from Nick Saban's last press conference before they head down to New Orleans. So guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash runthescores. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash thatnickjones. And then as always, runthescores.com is the best place to find all content about Alabama athletics. We have uh, posts every day, some of it's opinion-based, some of it's breaking news as we saw today. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And make sure to subscribe if you like these. These are just kind of like two to three minute videos I'm going to start doing hopefully every day uh, updating you on some of the latest in Alabama athletics. So guys, thanks for watching. And until tomorrow, I'm Nick Jones. Hope to see you soon. Bye.